Three, two, one. Hey, internet friend. This is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe, the Synergy Collaborative and Synergy Lifestyle Academy. And you've got your coffee today because we're in a cafe. It's a virtual cafe. <laughs> and I've got my friend, Jean O'Toole. Jean, where are you from? Where are you at? Hi, Brad. Um, I'm actually, uh, we're, we're connecting today in, in uh, the cafe from uh, my home uh, office in northwestern New Jersey. So Joyzy, a Joyzy girl. <laughs> Perfect. And, and Jersey, though, you know, it's uh, uh, a lot of people don't realize there is a little special nook of our state where all the New Jersey and New York and Pennsylvania kind of all come together. So believe it or not, even though I'm in New Jersey, I'm actually talking. I'm, 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 I'm in the woods. Uh, we, we're in the woods. We're, we're, we're in a lot of nature around us today. So it's really nice. Well, that works that way. I mean, Every place in the world's got its stereotypical Jersey girl, and then I find out you're out in the woods. Or I'm in an apartment in in a, west, uh, in a city called Minnetonka, Minnesota. And for Christ's sakes, I don't talk like that, you betcha. I don't do that. That's, that's actually North Dakota. <laughs> Fargo is actually North Dakota. It's not Minnesota. Anyways, so I don't do these too long because people have that commodity of time. We don't want to spend too much time, but we want to get to know who you are. So first off, you married? Got kids? Single? Um, I am. Um, I'm. I'm married uh, to a wonderful, uh, a wonderful band director um, of a high school, um, and uh, we do not have any kids. Uh, we were not blessed uh, with kids, but uh, because uh, my husband it works with high school students every day, and I'm a scholarship strategist, I'm working with students every day. We've got, we have a big family. It's like a, a big extended family, yes. <laughs> right. So when you do your work, are you doing your work from remote or you do, uh, do it like live in person when you're working with children? Kids? I do a lot, I do, I do a lot of work live in person. Um, I've been traveling uh, the country for uh, now over a decade uh, doing assemblies in high schools, helping, um, mm -hmm. helping students to put together um, action plans to find and win scholarships. I do a lot of seminars at libraries and organizations and helping helping parents uh, get that going. Uh, but I have recently been exploring uh, these, you know, all with all of this new technology, um, I'm excited uh, to now be bringing my programs virtually. So that's helping me reach even more people and right. help more, more students, you know, literally now all over the the world um, help them take their their um, their get their money mission going uh, with regards to scholarships now that's what's fun about this internet thing you never know who you're gonna run into and you get to put stuff out and then they're attracted to you and then you can connect live in person that's part of my goal yeah. is to get the use the internet to make connections and then get them into real life and get to meet people so who knows maybe I'll meet you someday live in person I love that rather than virtual <laughs> So how do you do go about that when you say scholarships? Are you talking like uh, someone is like a sports figure or something and they get a football scholarship or any kind of scholarship? Yeah, so um, great question. So um, I'm actually um, a, an expert in uh, what are called outside scholarships. So those are private monies, uh, scholarships that are from companies, organizations, individuals, foundations, uh, scholarships that are not specifically connected to any one given college or university. So what's awesome about that is, you know, uh, whether you are um, a high school student or a current college student, or even, um, because a lot of people don't know this, there's actually scholarships for kids, uh, even in elementary school and middle school and, wow. and students who are, you know, even postgraduate, postdoctorate. I mean, scholarships for people over the age even of 65. Um, there's private scholarships for everybody. And if you win that money, you can use it at any college or university or mm -hmm. educational institution that you're going to. Is it? Is it all, because like when kids are young, they don't know what they want to do when they're in school. What do you want to be when you grow up? I have no idea. <laughs> it, it, is, is it like generic type money to when they finally get out of college or maybe they don't even go to college. Maybe they're entrepreneurial. And I, I had a friend that created an entrepreneurial program for kids of how to run a lemonade stand. And he used, you know, signage for it. You do, you know, customer retention and and incentives and things to sell more lemonade. And he taught these kids entrepreneurial business. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a so so great example on that because, um, you know, think about it again. Private, private, uh, private monies, right? It could be like for your, from your friend who, um, you know, has um, has an interest in helping to inspire young entrepreneurship, right? Almost um, an on, you know, uh, apprentice kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's really there's there are out there's outside scholarships for everybody and and, and anything. Um, there's there's scholarships uh, whether. Um, you are, um, it, it might have to do with community service or leadership or um, scholarships uh, that could just be in general for being creative. Uh, a, great, a great scholarship that comes to mind actually right now, uh, a real scholarship, and it happens every year, uh, is actually called the Zombie Apocalypse Scholarship, right? <laughs> so, so check this out. This is, this is a real deal, and they've been giving away thousands of dollars every single year. This is a scholarship open to kids in the United States, age 13 and up. Um, and uh, deadline is always Halloween, so it's, it's easy to remember. Uh, yeah. But Zombie Apocalypse Scholarship is simply a creative writing exercise. And the, organiz you know, the organizers of that scholarship, uh, they said, you know what? We want to just inspire creative thinking, sure. creative writing. Um, it's a creative writing exercise about, you know, what you would do if there really was a zombie apocalypse. And they're giving away thousands of dollars every single year. So, um, yeah, I mean, it could be entrepreneurship. It could be creative writing. It could be poetry. Um, it could be um, simply um, having an interest in something, um, lending a helping hand to somebody. Sure. But, uh, you know, mm -hmm. companies and organizations, it's up to them. They get to decide what they honor, what they appreciate, and who they want to give that money well, to. Well, that's really cool. So there's, if there's a small company or a large company that says they want to put some money aside, almost like a, like a grant kind of thing, they fill this funds up, and then they make it available to anybody that's in that specific niche. Like I said, it could be anything. That's pretty cool. I like it stuff like cool. that where it gets, where you not only think outside the box, but you think without a box. It's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, and, and, you, and you know, you, you, you think without a box and, and uh, you know, magic Brad, I gotta, I gotta just share this with you. So, so you just mentioned about, about, you know, companies putting aside a little bit of money here, here is like, um, here is um, one of my like big visions and, 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 dreams to share out there with, especially with anybody who does have a small business. Okay. Um, I'm a huge believer of scholarship creation. It, it, it is, it is a, it, it is a massive, massive win-win for everybody involved. Picture this just for one moment. Imagine the, um, imagine the, I don't know, even the, the, the local, uh, pizzeria, um, in, in town and they, every, you know, all small businesses have, have their designated amount of money that they're going to use for whatever type of local advertising, outreach, whatever. Well, what if, right? Just what if, what if that local pizzeria were to actually decide to take just $500, even $500 out of that, that outreach and marketing budget. And they use that to create a scholarship. Now, again, it's their money. They can decide who and what they want to honor, right? But um, what if they were to open that, open up that scholarship to, you know, a student of any age um, in their town, because scholarships, could it's up to them. They get to decide a kid of any age in their town who maybe um, has, uh, and, and maybe they want to make it um, a really creative uh, scholarship where what's, what would be your, your, the best pizza that you would put together, right? Just as an example. And, 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 and that, that pizzeria, all they would have to do, all they'd have to do is simply put together, um, a, 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 you know, an email letting, uh, the schools in their community know that this was available. And now the schools are going to drive the traffic, right? Letting oh. all the families know there's a $500 scholarship for your kid to just decide on what what they would what they think their favorite pizza would be what their pizza design would be and all that traffic could be driven right to that pizzeria's website and the pizzeria local pizzeria has that has their application on their page now there are future customers 
yeah. right? Future mm -hmm. customers could be generated. Um, that, um, but even better for the pizzeria. This is what I get so excited about. You just inspired me to share this with you. This is, cool. is that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, um, I really, I really believe in this. I really I love um, your that, passion. I can see you're excited. <laughs> <about>. <laughs> um, <laughs> is that you know, um, you know, think again. What was that five hundred dollars originally for? It was for outreach and marketing and their, you know, uh, get, you know, their local advertising. Well, when they announce, when they decide, they announce that, that this scholarship is now available, what can they do as a company? They can let all their local radio, local TV, local newspaper know that this is happening, right? So they, and, and media loves to cover scholarships, sure. right? That's a great thing for the community. So they will absolutely cover that. And then, right, so now they're going to get a, a, a bunch of advertising in the announcement of the scholarship. Mm -hmm. When the local pizzeria awards that scholarship, what happens? Now they get to also um, have a picture taken with the sure. student um, and the family and maybe the pizza, right? And that all is now being sent out to all that local media again. That $500 will ultimately give that small business many 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 times over well, sure i can even um, see how they could put a little thing out that says a percentage of your pizza purchase goes to the promotion of this scholarship yeah how great that would be so cool that's very very yeah. interesting anyway i get excited I, about it there's a lot of there's a lot of opportunity that you know with 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 outside scholarships private yeah. scholarships and it's really cool where now sort of the instead of the the public sector trying to build the school up the the uh, for-profit business sector can help donate and bring funds into the school. That's really uh, cool. Uh, well, absolutely, but it's also it's also helping that small business. Totally, right? totally, totally. Yeah, yeah. So I remember, it's, I, mean, while, I, was, I mean, I had a thing I was calling it the peace police, and I was doing a peace thing for a while, and I still want to re resurrect it because I got some other ideas. And my what I do is I go to the pizza comp pizza place, and I take the pizza and I split it in half. Then I take the the triangles on the bottom, bring them down, and it makes a peace sign in the middle. Yeah. And I called it pizza instead of pizza. Oh, I, <laughs> I just take a I picture love that. of it. It's probably still out there on the internet somewhere, but That's and then you so could uh, you could take uh, students that have a, that are aspiring to start their own restaurants and stuff and they start their own pizzeria sure. and have a pizza scholarship. I love it. I love getting creative like that. Let stuff just yeah, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so again, I don't like doing these too long, but I would like to talk further on this, but just how do people get a hold of you if they want to participate in all this stuff i know you yeah. got a book on amazon I mean, <laughs> <laughs> um, my, my 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 book is really uh, we're, we're all excited about it uh scholarship okay. strategies um you know we we um there's there's really only so there's only so many days um in a year that i i've been able to uh get to um you know get to do these assemblies for for students and be in person with with parents and even have conversations like this and so um we we've after now over a decade of of doing this work and and um having reached thousands and thousands of students who have helped them you know start money missions and i've had students who've won anywhere from twenty thousand dollars to two hundred thousand dollars you know um, doing this really unique, proactive approach to, you know, how you find this money and how you, you know, work smart about it, not have to have it, you know, take a whole bunch of your life. Um, we, we finally got that. We, we got this book together. We're excited. Morgan James Publishing uh, launched it out. And uh, so it's now available all over, um, at, you know, Amazon, Barnes and Noble, your local bookseller, uh, you can cool. get a copy of scholarship strategies. But uh, we, we've got a ton of free resources. Uh, we, our goal is to help people help themselves. How do, how do, and, we, how do we get a hold of you? We want to you empower got a students. You got a URL website or something like that? You can yeah, yeah. Uh, Connections101.com. Uh, Connections101 uh, is nice where- um, <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice well, domain name. Well, thanks. We, Connections101 was, our, um, was uh, is, is the company that I co-founded uh, back in uh, 2008. And uh, we have been, um, we have been, you know, helping thousands of students uh, with our organization. Um, our goal is to just provide uh, resources and tools to help students take a proactive role to finding scholarships. And um, yeah, so tons of free resources at Connections 101, and including a, a, an easy how to get started guide, a lot of uh, a list of all of really good free website uh, resources to help people really start going after this money because you can change your situation 
Uh, you don't a, have to be one of these kids with, you know, tons of student loan debt. Just by learning about this, this concept, because initially when I thought, okay, scholarships, and it's kind of like a grant, you got to go jump through a bunch of hoops and all that. This could actually happen very, very rapidly, it seems like. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Very cool. uh, there, there's a scholarship I just posted today um, at our, um, I, I, we post scholarships, you know, all over our social media. Um, people can find us, you know, on Facebook, Instagram, um, uh, you know, at Scholarship Strategies. I, I, we post scholarships are all the time. And, and one of the scholarships I just posted today, um, they have a, a deadline that is going to be, um, it's going to be May 15th, but it's going to be awarded by July. Um, so, um, you know, now as we talk uh, today, it's where you and I are talking in April. And, and uh, so, you know, the scholarships are popping up all the time and there's always money that, that we can, we can reach for and, uh, and put our, put our, um, uh, you know, basically put our hat in the hat in the pile. But the one thing is, is that a lot of people think that I'm not going to win. So why bother? And um, I'm a numbers person. And uh, I got to tell you, it's one of the reasons why I actually started this work so many years ago, about 15 years ago, I started doing this work. When I started seeing the numbers for myself and, and, and any family who might be coming across this video, anybody who is, gets curious about this, if you have, have, um, have a, a free couple of minutes, do some research for yourself. Take a look. Just take a look. Do research for, um, you know, how many people applied for any given scholarship last year and how many people won. And when you start seeing those numbers, you start realizing it's not, this is not a situation where I'm, I'm competing against millions of students um, in America. Um, this is not, you know, on time and time and time again, uh, I find scholarships where it could have been open to students literally all over the nation. Um, millions of students could have applied and less than 50 people applied and they gave it to 20 of them. Yeah, you on the numbers really, idea the too. In your favor. Yeah. And then going with numbers, it's possible that there's going to end up being more scholarships than there are people that are looking for them because they're not looking for them. There, it, there you know, it, it's I, I give away. Um, I, I we mentioned before um, that uh, you know even though my husband and I we've got a lot of students in our life, we don't we don't have um, we were not blessed with with kids and and uh, because though we really believe in helping young people. Uh, I put together um, several years ago. I started putting together a, a local scholarship for um, scholarships for students in our community. And uh, last year, uh, last year we gave uh, we had raised enough money uh, to give away uh, eight scholarships. And um, of those eight scholarships, Brad, um, it, it <laughs> I wish I wish this wasn't the case, uh, but of those eight scholarships, um, one of the scholarships nobody applied. Uh, two of the scholarships, I only had two applicants, and in one of those cases, neither one of the applicants actually met the criteria that we were asking, uh, but we had to give the money away to one of those kids. Oh. The, the reality is, is that there's so much opportunity out there that people are just not going for. And, well, there is a lot of saturation um, with the internet. There's so much stuff going on, but you do have to swing the bat to hit the ball, you know, so you yeah. got to take a chance at it, so people should apply. Well, again, I don't like to take these, make these too long because I've seen some of these things that go on for three hours and people get, they just drift away. So I want to make sure they know how to connect with you. Again, it's connections101.com. That's an easy one to remember, connections101.com. And I'm going to wrap this up now and beam it up to the universe and let people find it. And that's how it works. So I would like to maybe have another conversation with you. Maybe we could do it on the phone or we could do another Zoom later. because I got some ideas that go on in, in my head. <laughs> Good, good. It, this has been great. I'm so excited to to join you in your cafe. I love we it. Can, we can do it again. So cheers, cheers, cheers. We can maybe do a, a niche one. Maybe you want to target a specific uh, geographic area or a specific industry or something. We can have conversations again. And that's the way this works. More content. Would love that. Yeah, sounds great. Okay. I appreciate the time. Thank you. Peace. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Bye.